Easter, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. It is a beautiful day today, and uh, my name is Brenda. I'm from uh, Wish Me Luck Drifting. I'm back today with another haul for you. So anyways, we're going to get started, and thank you for watching and subscribing, and I hope you continue to. So anyways, let's get on with the haul. My first item is a cute little I guess it's a rooster, chicken or rooster. And it's, um, the colors are really nice in it. It's a uh, red and, uh, red and black. I think that is a brown with a uh, touch of uh, gold and yellow. It's a cute little rooster. That's what the back looks like. The front and, um, it's either a rooster or a chicken. I don't know. It kind of looks more, I don't know, like a rooster. But anyways, this piece is, um, I think it's 1961, and it's uh, Holt Howard. It's a Holt Howard piece, I think. Japan, maybe. Yep, just as um, 1961 Holt Howard. So I don't know. It was Japan or where it's from. But anyways, it's a nice little uh, ceramic uh, piece. The only one problem that it has is a little chip right inside of the dish. I mean, it could be colored in with, uh, you know, some of the ceramic is like, you know, missing. But it could be colored in with, uh, I'm not going to color it in, you know, for anyone that would collects Holt Howard. Anyway, it's Holt Howard piece, so that's the first item. Cute little thing. Second thing I have to show you is a, it's just a dish. I know we see them a dime a dozen, but it's uh, I just thought it was uh, whenever I can find them with, um, which I don't pick up a lot or find a lot of them. But anyways, whenever I find them and they have the lid, you know, it's a good thing because you don't always find a lid with these things and it's in great condition. And this one is, um, is Vision and it's, um, it's 24 rounds, 750 milliliter and it, uh, is Corny USA and it's oven and microwave range top and freezer. And, um, it's a, like an amber brown, and it's in excellent condition. On the top, it says, um, it says 16 Pyrex VIC. I don't know what the VIC means. I don't know what 16 means. But anyways, uh, it says Pyrex on the, on the top, and um, on the bottom it says Vision uh, Corning USA. And so it's, uh, you know, it's in excellent condition. A really cute little dish I don't I like these pieces but I don't think I, I I don't like putting them in an oven you know you could use them for other things make desserts in or you know jello or anything you'd like to use them for anyway this is uh, a little little uh, vision set of piece and I've got these little um, things. I always like to, I always like to um, pick up uh, candle holders. You know, every once in a while you see a cute little set that you might like or someone else you think might like them. But anyway, these ones are, I guess they're copper. Um, there is a tag on it. Where's my, let's see if I can make this out a little better. It says, uh, oh yeah, it says Copper Craft, and Copper Craft, something which I can't make out, but it says Copper Craft, so we know it's copper. It's two little nice uh, candle holders. They're only small, but you know, you don't want them too big sometime anyway, so. That is a nice little set of copper candle holders. And they have, uh, you know, little handles on, something like the, the chamber uh, candle holders, you know, where you 
fold them like this. So anyway, you know, they had some wear on them as usual. You know, things were older and used a lot. It does have wear on the bottom. You could always put felt on the bottom of that too if you, you know, so it wouldn't, you know, get wore off a lot. Anyway, the, this is how the bottom's made. And the tag is on this one. There's no tag on this, but it's on this, but they are the same. So anyway, it's <coughs> nice little copper candle holders. This I thought was uh it's it's um it's a funny paper towel holder, but I had some other pieces and I thought this, you know, if anybody likes these uh type of paper towel holders, this is a nice one and it's heavy and strong. This is just paper towel I put on there for you know, to show you. And this is what it looks like. It's an older used um you know, it's used does have a lot of wear on the bottom and it's uh there's no markings on it or anything but it does say made in china there is one little tag here and it says made in china and um other than that it that's all it is it's just a, a heavy paper towel holder uh, It's a nice, uh, you know, like steel, uh, copper tone uh, looking piece. This is, um, this is a nice ornament. It's, it's beautiful, I thought. It's, um, it's a green and really nice green with, um, it's a tan color. And it is a little, uh, I guess you could put a plant in it or uh, um, you could even set a candle inside of it, you know, like the tea light candle or the uh, the higher candle, I forget what you call it. You could burn a candle in it. It's a really nice piece. It's an olive and it has this trunk up and there's no, um, there's really not, you know, anything wrong with it. You might see a little of the paint on the feet, uh, you know, a little wear, but that's normal. But it's a, a nice looking uh, piece. Just the bottom. Everything's intact. It's a little wear here on this foot. But other than that, there's no cracks or chips or anything. And um, on the bottom, it does. It has an A on, there's an A here, I don't know what that means on the foot, I don't know, probably somebody who made it. And then there, there's also, I don't know if that's two initials that, that say SD, maybe, not sure, but anyway, that's what's on it. But anyway, that's a cute little, and it's not light, it's, a, it's got a lot of, you know, weight to it. It's a nice piece, it's the inside. It's a little, um, little elevant. This piece here is, uh, you know, for, it's a nice, I thought, for someone that uh, likes to collect brass. It's cute little uh, heart-shaped uh, wall scones, brass wall scones, candle holder. It has the... Uh, the hook for hanging it on the wall and it's a uh, really solid brass I only have one of them you know maybe somebody else has another one they might they're looking for one to put with their one no anyway, it's a really nice piece there's no markings on it no it's on mark but I just thought it was a really nice I like the shape of it the heart shaped anyway that's the it's a single uh, wall sconce candle holder in brass. The next item I have, I'm not sure if I showed this or not, but I might have already, but I'm not sure. This is a cute little, uh, you know, napkin salt and pepper shaker caddy. It's really cute, I thought. You know, it has a good place for your napkins and, and the salt and pepper shakers. 
put any type of salt and pepper shakers in it. I just had these available at the time, so I just stuck them in there so you could get a sample of what it looks like. It's a nice piece. This is a Japan piece. Made in Japan. Here's the bottom of it. The marking is um, on the on here. It says Japan. And it's just a simple, you know, but nice piece. I like the design of it. It's nice for the summer. You could put it out on the um, <clears throat> on your uh, your patio table, you know, or put it on your own table or on your counter. It looked good anywhere. It was just a nice piece. I thought it was, and it's wooden, made of wood, so, and it's in excellent condition. I don't see anything anything that's wrong with it. You might find a little, well, there's really one of the, just one of the wooden things that are loose here, but that could be glue, a little bit of glue on it that would stay in place. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. So that's a nice little set. I also have this, um, this is a cute little uh, creamer, milk creamer. It's in, a, it's almost like an amber brown. It's a amber. And it's a nice, just a cute little, you know, glass. Um, I don't know if it's older piece. It's not marked. I don't see any marks on it. There's a, there's a little thing on the bottom of it, but I don't know if that's a bubble or something in the glass. But there's no cracks or chips or anything on it. The handle's in good condition. And the bottom is in good condition. It's a really nice color. Beautiful. You can really see it when you hold it up to the light. It's a, it's a really nice color, the amber in it. It's only small. I only had the one piece. <laughs> I've never <clears throat> found them <clears throat> besides the amber brown um, little uh, dish I just found, the Vision uh, Corning Wear. I, I haven't really found um, any amber pieces. You don't find them a lot. So anyway, my next little piece I got is uh, this little, um, I guess you call it a little sausage dough or weenie, weenie, wiener dough or weenie dough or something like that. Anyway, I thought it was a cute little piece. You know, as you know, it's, it is three pieces. And it's cute little, it's cute little face. Some of the, some of the, uh, the painting around the eyes is, you know, kind of wearing off, but it's still there. It's got a little bit of red or red around the mouth and the sides of the the ears and on the feet. You got some some gold in between the feet. And here's the bottom of the um, the bottom is like a red wear, and it is a Japan piece. I never, first time I ever saw one of these. Um, I mean, the first time. I've seen them somewhere years ago, but I've never seen one. You know, this is the first time I've ever been able to ever, ever find one or find one and hold it myself. But anyway, this is a, a nice little piece. I guess, I don't know what you put in it. I don't know what they're made for. Is it for flowers or plants? I don't know. Maybe just a little storage. Uh, Little things you throw in these in these storage sections sections I don't know, but anyway it, it's in um it's in good condition. There's nothing wrong with um this part of the dog except for the paint. You know I don't know how long how old these things are, so it's probably like I always say normal for paint to be wearing off or certainly. But um, this piece. The only thing that I could see wrong with the whole dog besides what I said is uh, right here. It looks like it's just a, a small little, a small little crack right here. Just, it's small, but I mean, you really have to look at it to see it. it it's just a little one. It goes just a little, little tiny, 
you know, it doesn't go all the way down. It only goes from here to here. It's right here in this spot. And it through to the inside. Goes through to the inside. But it is that little crack just right there. And then, no, on this side it's not, it's not cracked. It's just in that, just that one spot. Yeah, it's just, it's just the one spot. So other than that, it's a really nice uh, collectible piece. You know, collector's, uh, collector's item. So that's the little, uh, uh, I guess, we saucy dog or weenie dog, whatever they call those. And it is a Japan piece. And this um, this little piece, I just took it because it's a, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't know, it's just a little probably dish for throwing your keys in or maybe your jewelry or just to put on display. It's a, it's a, um, a, a dish with a eagle on the front of it. Got an eagle on the front. It is ceramic or some type of pottery or something. And it says, um, what does it say? Oh, handmade in BC, Canada. And it says, uh, it's a, uh, it's a Haida eagle or a H A I D A eagle. H A I D A eagle. But I can't really, I don't know how to pronounce that now. I don't know if it's Haida or Haida or Hida or. But that's the type of eagle that's on the. Um, but it, so it's marked on the back. It's just a cute little collector's piece for someone that collects this type of pottery or likes to collect eagles. So this is what it looks like. And the markings on the back. And I thought it was really nice. It's in excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with it. And this is, uh, yeah, it's made really nice. I like it. For someone out there that collects, you know, eagles or um, or the, just that, just pottery in general. You know, you like to have different pieces. This is um, something I found. I, I've seen people with these on the thrift shows, but I thought, oh, if I ever come across one someday, I'm going to pick it up. So I finally came across this little one. It's a nice little small square vintage. I think this is vintage. It's a water uh, pitcher or, you know, juice pitcher, whatever you like to put in it. It has like the... Uh, I don't know what you really call these star bursts almost on the sides and on the bottom it has a, a star there's a star on the bottom there is no markings there's no initials or markings or anything but and it has this type of handle on it well anyway it's in um it's in uh, excellent condition no chips or cracks or anything on it. I just thought it's a cute little size. It's a nice size, the, the picture. It's not too big to store in your fridge or in your cupboard or on your counter. It's a nice size. Then I've got this, which I thought was really cute. It's a uh, really nice. It's um, it's a beautiful. Um, I put those flowers in there just to. You know, to give it some, I'll take a moment or a minute and get a moot. It's a beautiful uh, flamingo, um, flamingo uh, little flower pot or, you know, a little plant or I guess you could put a little plant in it or, or just some, uh, you know, dried flowers or, you know, just the artificial flowers. You don't need to put a real flower in it but maybe somebody will but I just thought it's really nice I've never ever found a 
flamingo before and I thought this one was really nice. Beautiful, the green and pink together. And this is not marked on the bottom. There's no markings on it. Nope, there's the bottom, but there's no markings on it. The inside, there's no markings. And I just stuck these little flowers in there to uh, you know, give it some little, little bit of character. Give it a little bit of character. So anyway, this is the uh, little, little pink flamingo. For anybody that collects flamingos. I just thought it, the, the color is, is really um, so pretty on it. And this little fella I thought was so cute. It's a really cute little guy. Or could be a little girl, I'll call it a little guy. It's cute. It's a little doggy, little uh, black and white dog with the red collar and um red and gray collar and he has the um he has a little he's holding a little bunny a little pink bunny which is really cute he's holding a little pink bunny it's really cute it's the bottom it's in excellent condition, this little dog. It does have a name on it, Malva or something, but other than that, there's no maker, uh, there's no uh, mark saying where it was made at. It might have just been a, a homemade piece, you know, something somebody made for someone. But it's a beautiful piece. It is a, it's a bank, a money bank. And, um, but it has the slot here, but it doesn't have the stopper in it. It looks like you need a pretty big stopper in the bottom of this which it doesn't have, but you know, other than that, it's a nice little ornament. But I thought it was so cute with the, that he's holding this little bunny, little toy. So anyway, that's the, uh, the little dog. For anybody that likes to collect this type of, um, you know, this type of ornament. It's just a cute little piece, it's a cute little face, it's so cute. So that's a cute little, um, cute little dog ornament. And the next, the next piece, the next uh, thing I have, well this, I, I started collecting this stuff because there's people that have asked for, um, you know, that we're looking for for fridge magnets for their kids. And um, every once in a while now along my trails, I come across some, so I pick it up. I'll take it so that I can, you know, someone, I'll put them online for someone that, you know, is looking for this stuff. This is a nice set. These ones go together like this. This one says AR and this one is HM or WH can go either way. That one. And they're just little magnets. This one is A AO. This one, I don't know what. Oh, IO or OI. And you got M and you got all these. You know, it's a bunch of them. So, so they can't, they're uh, just fridge magnets put on the fridge. Cause I've had people ask for um, fridge magnets, so now that I see them and pick them up, I just thought they're uh, this is a nice, um, you know, kids like to play with these magnets on the fridge, you know, or on your probably on the fridge, not on the stove. So, anyway, anybody that's looking for fridge magnets, I just like to pick them up have a few on hand. I'm going to pay two dollars for these, which is not bad. It's not a bad price at all. Whoops. That's not a bad price.
I'm going to take all that for me, please. Thank you. The next item I have up is, um, I thought this was really nice. I've never, uh, I've seen these before. This one was really strong and, and nice. This one's really nice. So uh, I, I liked it with the, um, I liked it because it had the mirror on it. And um, so you can hang your, uh, you know, hang some jewelry on here and it's got the stand. But, and the mirror is thick. It's a, it's a quite a, you know, it's a thick mirror that's on here. It's almost like, um, it's almost like the bevel mirror. It's, it, it's a bevel. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a bevel mirror. You could stand this on your dresser or, you know, anywhere you'd like to put it. But it's really nice for hanging a few things on. And, um... And plus the mirror part, which is really nice, I thought. Never seen it with the bevel mirror before. It's thick. And um, it's uh, here's the back of it. And it's made in India. It's a piece made in India. So, uh, you know, it's a nice, really nice. I, you can see a lot. Like, you can really see yourself in this mirror. It's, um, it's, uh, it seems small, but it's big. It's nice, and um, and it um, it stands. Um, I'm gonna measure this one for you because this um, this one stands pretty tall. It's it's all it's twenty inches high. It's a twenty almost twenty in, twenty inches and a half high. Twenty and a half inches. So it's pretty, you know, big. I really like it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it for myself or or, or um, sell it. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Because I've never seen one with the uh, the, the glass so thick on it. The beveled. I don't know if it's an older piece or that's just the way it was made. And it's got a little uh, ribbon on it. So anyway, this is Made in India, so this is what it looks like. And this item I have, um, this item I have, wait now, sorry about that. I've got so many items, I don't know what I'm showing. I'm just going this item I have, I don't know. But anyway, this is really cute. This is something my granddaughter, she likes to pick up things. So she got this. And uh, I haven't seen these for years. I mean, I don't look for them because, you know, over the years, you don't even think about this kind of stuff anymore. But anyways, we all know what this is. Well, I didn't know what it was at first, but now I know it's a Teletubbies. And um, it's Teletubbies. And it, this piece is from 1998. It's Hasbro. But I don't think they, I don't think these come out anymore. No, I, I don't think they have these on the market. And I'm not sure. I shouldn't say they, they don't because I don't know. No, I just thought it was a cute little piece. And it's a talking one. So this one talks. <laughs> it's cute. So anyways, this is a, a cute little Teletubby. And there's the back of it. It takes the batteries. It takes, um, let's see what type of batteries it takes. I can see it without, I don't know. But I, it'll, I'll put it in the, I just can't see it. I'll put it in the. I'll put it in the description what type of batteries it takes. But it's really cute. It's got the cutest little face. I, I don't remember seeing these for so many years, you know. Didn't even realize that it was a telly tubby. But it's a cute um and it talks, so that's a good thing. And it says uh 
USA. So anyway, that's the Teletubby. I like the little thing on its head. So anyways, so that is that. Then I have, can you go in the room by my room and bring out my black light? This, I don't know, this is, uh, um, I had this for a long time, but I don't, I think it's a, I guess it's a, I like the colors of it, but I think it's like a, 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 a vase, some type of vase. I don't know if I'd put a plant in it, but, or just keep it, or just for an ornament. It's, um, I don't know, I thought I had a marking on it, but there's nothing on it. No, there's nothing marked on it, but it's a nice little piece, and it's heavy. It's a, um, you know, animal print. It's glass, and then it has the see-through um, windows. But it is a, it's a nice little round piece. So, it's a nice little round piece. This is what it looks like, the inside, and... Thank you. It's the inside, and so that's nice. So anyway, this next piece that I have, it's um, it's a beautiful um, it's a beautiful green um dish. I think it's an ashtray, and I it's the first time I ever found no, it's, it's not first time, second time I ever found a green piece that was this green, you know, but um. But this piece, I think, is called um, uh, your uranium glass, a uh, depression glass, maybe, because when you put the light on it, it does glow under the light. I don't know if you can see it in the daylight today on the cake, but it really glows. This one really, really glows. At night, it lights up so bright. So anyway, this is... Uh, it's a beautiful dish. I just liked it because it's the first time that I've ever, uh, no, the second time, I should say, I've ever found uh, a green piece that glows. So anyway, that is a gorgeous piece. It's not that big, but, you know, it, it's powerful, the glow that comes from it. It's only, um, it's only, um, about four and a half inches and and about four and uh three about four and three quarter inches um wide so at the widest point but it like has a little bit of wear I, that's it's on the bottom you know from being moved around there's no one ever put a felt or anything on I don't think you'd want to well, it's in excellent condition there's no chips or cracks or anything on it and it's it's heavy it's thick so anyway this is the uh, this is the uh, the black light and it does glow I mean uh, my black light and it really glows so, I was just surprised when I you know I thought that when I seen it I thought that might glow but yeah so it really does glow. Then I've got this. I bought this piece. It almost, it al it's almost as if it did glow. At night, you can't see it in the day, but this at night, some parts of it seemed like it was glowing. But anyway, this is just a, a pink piece of glass. A pink glass. I don't know if this is a older vintage glass or if it's just a modern. I'm not sure. It does have a lot of um, bubbles in the bottom of the the pedestal so I don't know if it's old it's not marked anyway so this is just a pink um, I guess wine glass so I'm just gonna try to uh, you know get a few pink pieces together and maybe lock them up so anyway that's just a just the glass there just a one lonely glass then these 
these are really nice. I, I, um, I see them, but I never can find them in sets. It's always one here, one there, or three, or never find four. But then one day I found six. So anyway, there's six of them. I think they're called crinkle glass. And it's a nice green. And they are not, they're not marked on the bottom. Because I know some of these are marked. They do say they're made by um, sometimes Libby or Anger Hawking, I guess. But these are not marked, so... They still could be made by them, or I don't know, they could be made by anybody. But anyway, there's six of these. I was glad to find six. You know, they were only, didn't cost that much, so to find six was a treat because you never find six of them. So I don't know if I'm keeping them. If I'm, if I'm going to sell them, they'll be listed anyway. So that's six of those. So I thought this was a cute little, um, I thought this was a cute, um, I thought this was a cute uh, little uh, wristlet. I like these little wristlets sometimes. This one is, uh, it's in excellent condition. It's, um, I like the uh, design on the front of it. And it's got the little little uh hanging uh like a pom pom and it um has uh has eight slots eight slots inside for your you know your credit cards or your license and your whatever kind of cards you want to put in there and it's a really nice uh color it's in excellent condition and this is uh from fossil which is right here, you'll never be able to see it probably, but it's fossil and it says genuine leather. And it is in, it's in excellent condition. It's got the little, you know, wrist strap with it. It's in excellent condition. I've never found one so nice. It's just like it's brand new. It doesn't look like it's been used. It could have been, but, and it has the tag on the inside. There's a tag in the inside that says fossil. So it's a really nice leather um, fossil wristlet. So that's a that's a cute little uh, it's a nice little wristlet, and it's genuine leather. And then I found this. I usually don't take a lot of these, but I took this because I liked the recipe in it, and then I just thought it was a nice one. It's in excellent condition. So anyway, this is uh, one of those, um, I guess you call it a pie plate or, you know, by CE Springer Houseware Products and made in Korea, it's oven proof. And it, um, it has the recipe on the inside. And this recipe is for cab, crab meat, cab meat quiche, quiche. Crab meat quiche. <laughs> it's hard to say. That's like a tongue twister. <laughs> but anyway, it's crab meat quiche. If you like to make that type of dish. So anyway, I took it because I thought, oh, wow, well, that's a nice dish to make that in. But I, I never attempted it yet. But one of these days I will. But it's, it's really nice. It has uh, the pictures of eggs and cheese and onion and uh, a milk pitcher. And the colors are really nice. It's like a brown and a and a peachy orangey color. So anyway, that was really cute. I took that for that purpose because I was hoping that someday I'll make that recipe. But anyway, some I um I have these um two plates. Um, these are uh, these are. They're called the Victorian English Pottery and established 1819. They're by Edward Chatler and English Pottery, and they're made in England. The dishwasher microwave safe. And on, on here it says, um, there's a little tag on here, and it says, it says, uh, dishwasher microwave safe. Oh, I thought there was a, now wait now, I'm just looking for something on here because I thought that this said 
Well, they're cute for Halloween because the 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 woman is a skeleton. The man and woman, there's skeletons on here dressed up. He's dressed up in a tuxedo. And she's got the long uh, Victorian dress and stuff on. It looks like it's from the Victorian era. But anyway, this is, uh, and then she's got a, she's got an animal, but that's a skeleton too that she's got on the leash. But they're cute. They'd be good for, you know, dishes for Halloween. Anyway. Those are uh, they're just small plates. They're small. They're um, they're eight inches uh, eight inches round, or eight eight and uh, a quarter inches round. So they're not big. So, anyways. So anyway, I'm gonna a few more things in this haul and this little set here it's not really a set I just threw these things together because they were all um, you know close close looking to each other so I just thought I will I will put them together and see what happens see if there's anybody that uh, collects um, that likes uh the black, um, you know, looking uh, ornaments and stuff. These are these ones are candle holders. This is a little vase and already has the, there's flowers in it, which are really cute. They're like pansy flowers. And this is a little trinket. This is a little trinket dish. This is um, this is not uh, metal or anything. It's a type of I don't even know if that's wood. I think it might be, um, I don't think it's resin. I think it might be a type of wood lacquered, like it's lacquered. And it's really pretty. The top has all the flowers in it, and the bottom has golden, a little bit of flowers all around the bottom. And it's some type of margin on the bottom. I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's a trinket dish, and these, this is, uh, a nice vase with um, flowers and there's two butterflies on it. Butterfly then a butterfly there. And then these are candle holders. They almost look like Chinese or Japanese candle holders. Now wait, now there is a sticker on the bottom. Yeah, these are Japan. They're made in Japan. Yep, they have stickers on the bottom. They're made in Japan. And these are like a um, like a lacquer. They're they're not wood. They're there's a name for this, but they're like a resin or something like a. But anyway, they have a nice design on them. They got um. There's uh. I can't really make out what the designs are. I think I know there's um. Know what those designs are but anyway there are some birds flying on this side and I don't know if those are is that that's a boat in the water or just houses or whatever it is but it's really pretty they're really nice whatever the, the designs are and they get the gold up around here so I just thought you know put these lot these ones together and see what happens see if anybody likes them this is um I think this is made out of the same, this could be resin or could, or these look like they're made out of the same, the same uh, product. I'm not sure. If I can find out the right materials, I'll make sure they're in the uh, description anyway. But I just thought that would be a cute little set together. So it's, um, you know, it's nice for someone that is looking for this style of style of uh, <coughs> ornaments display and then I'm going to show you one last thing out of this uh, this thrift haul so anyway this is a uh, this is a nice little lamp I found. Um, it uh, it does work. 
it's uh, blue and white. It doesn't have a shade. I was looking, trying to find a shade to it, but I couldn't find a shade. So I thought if somebody wanted this lamp, they could maybe put a shade on it yourself, or maybe you have a shade that you could put on this. I didn't even know really what type of shade I would put on it anyways. But I just thought it was really nice. It does work. On the bottom, is it's like, it's wood on the bottom. I think that's wood. Yeah, I think it's wood on the bottom. And underneath it says, uh, I think it says September 1996. It's a date on it. And the plug and everything, it's in excellent condition. It's just that it doesn't have a shade. It does work. Now, can you can you reach me that extension cord, please? Over around here. This one. On the floor, look the white extension cord. Just want to plug this in. Is it plugged in the other end? Yeah, plug it in. That and I need this end of the thing. I want to plug this lamp in. Where's the other part of the extension cord? Oh, she's got it in that. Can you plug this in it? Will it reach? No, no, in this part. No, leave that plugged in. Yeah, it, I can do it. Leave that plugged in. Don't unplug that. I can do it. Oh my gosh, did you unplug that? No, no. Was that already unplugged? Mm. Huh? It's good. Was it already unplugged though? Yeah. This is already, this is good. This is good. I just unplug this one. Oh. Oh, you unplug that one, not this. Yes. Don't unplug this because that's plugged I in. Know. Oh, okay. I did. Okay. It's working. See? That light bulb's probably gonna blow. Yeah. Light bulb's probably no good. I had it plugged in in there, but I yeah. Know. Oh no, one is loose. Oh, for Pete's sake, the light bulb was loose. But anyway, it does work. I just want to show that it works. And um, yeah, it's a nice little vase, blue and white. There's no markings on it other than it says on the bottom September 1996. So. You know, it's in excellent condition for someone that likes blue and white and is looking for a small lamp. So anyway, that, um, so anyway, that's that nice little lamp. And this little thing here. This is a cute little thing which I've never seen before. It's a, well, I mean, it's only obvious, obvious that it is a, a, a pen holder. And it's round, it has the number four on it, which I thought was really cute. I didn't know what it was at first when I seen it, but anyway, it has number four. And what it is, it's, it's got the pen with it. And it, um, on the back, it says it's Mar Marvel Comics, and it says a Marvel classic laser sculpture um it says fantastic for tm and uh marvel characters inc all rights reserved and then it says it's 1996 so i just thought that was a cute little round um little round uh you know memorabilia or for someone that collects a uh, marvel uh memorabilia so anyway, it's from 1996, and it's a Marvel Classic sculpture. So the pen can move different areas. And it has the number four. I don't know what the four means on it, but anyway, it's the four. It's the first time i ever seen it. And I've also got... Uh, this is a nice piece. It's a really nice... Uh, Really nice colorful dish. It's got the, it's trimmed with flowers and it's a purple, it's got mauve and like a little dark purple and the flowers are blue in them and you get your green, uh, 
a little bit of yellow and pink. And that's what the back looks like. And it, um, I thought it was a really nice little dish. Good for serving, uh, you know, your vegetables and stuff on, or some cookies, or um, just about anything. But anyways, I'd just like to say once again, um, Happy Easter to everyone, uh, to all my family. Hope you all had yourself a, a great Easter Sunday and uh, a, a beautiful meal and that everyone's doing okay. And, uh, you know, I'll get back at you, you know, one of these days. And I'd like to uh, say thanks to all the subscribers. And I hope you will subscribe and, uh, you know, keep watching the videos. And so, everyone, you have yourself a great day. It's beautiful. I thank you, and I'll see you again.